In this 4-minute videos for developers, we're going to see how to create an API proxy from scratch in your local machine and deploy it to Apigee Edge or using a command line. Myself, Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apigee Edge account. You can sign up at apigee.com slash edge. You need uh, a local machine with Node.js and NPM installed. And also you need uh, basic concepts of Apigee API proxy. For that, you can refer earlier 4-minute video. Till now we have seen how to create an API proxy in using Apigee Edge UI. Uh, but in this uh, particular 4 minute video, we're going to see how to create an API proxy from scratch in the local machine and deploy this API proxy to Apigee Edge platform using various tools. Once API proxy is deployed, then the consumption layer can able to make API calls, which goes through Apigee Edge platform, where you secure, manage, build, and then analyze the APIs. You can able to deploy the API proxy that you developed in local machine to Apigee Edge using Node.js based Apigee tool or using Maven tool or using even curl by leveraging the Apigee management APIs. In this demo, we're going to see how to deploy the API proxy that you have developed in local machine using Node.js based Apigee tool. Let's see how it works in action. As you can see here, I created a simple folder called API deploy demo. Now we're going to create a proxy from scratch. Uh, to create a proxy from scratch, we need to follow a certain folder structure. Create a folder called uh, API proxy and then create uh, multiple folders inside API proxy. One is the uh, proxies where all proxy endpoint related information will go. And uh, the second one is targets where all target uh, related information will go. And uh, the next one is policies. All the policies uh, will be placed uh, in this particular folder. And then we have to create uh, one XML file that will have metadata about the API. So we will create a new file called API deploy demo.xml. So I'm going to uh, take uh, the XML from an existing proxy just to show you. Uh, so this is the API metadata uh, about the proxy that we are going to deploy. So I'm going to say uh, the base path as uh, API deploy mock. And uh, I'm going to remove created art because it will be dynamically created. I'm going to change uh, the display name as uh, uh, API uh, deploy demo. And I'm going to remove last modified art. And uh, we have to get uh, uh, proxy and target related uh, information. So I'm going to copy this default.xml from some other uh, proxy that I have already. So this particular default.xml will contain the information related to proxy endpoint. As you can see, verify API key it as attached to uh, preflow. And uh, I'm going to change uh, the base path as uh, API uh, deploy mock. And then similarly, uh, we're going to take the target endpoint uh, file. So target endpoint will have a uh, target endpoint related information. Uh, so let me get this particular uh, XML. As you can see, we are pointing to mock target at apg.net. That's it. Our proxy is ready. Uh, uh, one final thing is we have to get the verify API key. So I'm going to copy this file and place inside the policies. As you can see, verify API key, we are verifying the key from query parameter. So our proxy is ready to deploy. Let's deploy using command line. So one of the prerequisites for uh, uh, deploying from the command line, if you are using apigee tool, node.js and npm is installed, you can verify it uh, by specifying node minus minus version and npm minus minus version. If node and npm is installed, then you can uh, go ahead and install apigee tool. To do that, you can do sudo npm install minus g apigee tool. Once Apigee tool is uh, installed, we're going to execute Apigee tool command to deploy the API. So the command is Apigee tool deploy proxy minus u, your Apigee email address that you use to log in, uh, minus o and the organization name, minus c, the environment that you want to deploy, minus n and the proxy name, and then minus t, which is the source of the API proxy, which is the current directory, which is nothing but uh, API proxy folder. Let's execute the command. As you can see, our proxy got uh, deployed successfully in the test environment. Now I'm in Apigee UI, so I'm going to refresh the screen. Now we should see a new proxy called API Deploy Demo, which is deployed to test environment. There you go, API Deploy Demo is uh, deployed one minute ago. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comment.apigee.com. Subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your colleagues and friends.